Hey folks, Mr. Justin here with Secret Weapon Miniatures and another two minute tutorial for you. Uh, this time I'm going to look at a couple of the ways that I make engine oil and grime and things like that. So what we have here to begin with uh, is a bottle of my realistic water from Woodland Scenics. Uh, and then I have a couple of inks. In this case I'm going to use some uh, burnt umber for a brown, a little bit of Payne's gray for a blue black. And last but not least, I actually have one of the Dollar Rani pearlescent inks. Uh, this is their pearl essent black, so it's going to have some uh, uh, sparkles to it, uh, which is good because you want to get kind of that metallic sheen to the uh, oil. Now you can do this with realistic water. You can do this with uh, gloss uh, varnish. I do have my uh, uh, Vallejo gloss varnish here as well, uh, but I tend to like the realistic water. I find it more flexible. Um, it doesn't shrink quite as much uh, when it's done. A better durability in my opinion. So I've put some realistic water down, not much to see at this point. I'm going to start by very carefully, slowly rather, mixing in just a drop of color, drop of brown, drop of Payne's gray, and a drop, oops there, that was the black, and this is the Payne's gray. And I'm going to start by taking a cruddy old brush mixing those together to see what kind of color I get. Now you can see, maybe, a bit of that shine, the reflective metallic shine to it. I'll get in there manually and adjust the uh, focus if I need to. Let's get that for you. So you can see a bit of that. So it's got a little bit of that reflective quality I'm looking for. It makes it look more like oil and uh, less like just brown paint. And that's all it's going to take. So what I'm going to do is clean off the brush a bit, load it up, and I would put this wherever I needed around an engine or something like that. Now the one trick to the uh, realistic water in place of something else is that it's very uh, stable. Um, it's generally going to stay right where I put it. It's not going to wander off. It's not going to flow. Uh, if I need something that flows, uh, I would use uh, the uh, varnish. I would add some water uh, or I'd use an enamel product. And we'll look at the enamel products here in just a second. But still trying to get this back into focus for you. So when it dries, it's going to be glossy. It's going to have that sheen to it, uh, like you'd get from the realistic water, or you'd expect from the realistic water. But let's compare that real quick. Make my new dab and my pull out. Just so you can see the difference here. What I actually have in a row are four different enamels. Uh, we start on the far left with the MIG Productions enamel oil stains. The next one is the AK Interactive enamel oil stains. The third one over here, the lightest of those three color or three enamels, is the uh, MIG. Uh, I'm sorry, ammo of MIG um, oil. And last but not least is that dark stain that we got there from our realistic water mixture. So these are my oil stains. Um, although they are going to um, lose a little bit of their shine when they dry, uh, not a lot. Uh, that's one of the things we're looking for here is all four of these effects are glossy. Uh, and that's something you want to keep from the oil. It should not wind up matte. So this is also an effect I would apply to a model and then not put matte varnish over it. So any of the matte varnish that I need to apply to the model, it should be done prior to this step. So those are the products. Again, all I used to uh, make the acrylic version here is realistic water and then some dollar running inks. Uh, you can try it with P3 paint. Um, I'm sure it would work. Uh, it's not something I've done only because I do you know so much of my painting with the dollar running inks to begin with that uh, for me it was just the easiest thing to reach for and it's an effect I use on a lot of my models. Any questions you know where to find me it's Mr. Justin at secretweaponminiatures.com or join us on Facebook we'll see you there and of course if there's something you'd like to see covered let me know and we'll see what we can do. Thanks so much.